the love followers of I Believe series and their friends of Central Tadeus, the patron of hopeless and difficult cases. Welcome again to our I Believe series, season 7, episode 4. A few weeks ago, we began our reflection on the seventh article of the creed. That is, I believe that Jesus will come again to judge the living and the dead. A few weeks now, we have been reflecting on that article that says he will come again to judge the living and the dead, and then on the form of this judgment. Reflecting on the form of this judgment, we have been able to answer two questions. Who is the judge? And then, who are to be judged? Today, in this episode, we want to reflect on the third question, and that is, upon what will the judgment be based? Upon what shall this judgment be based? The judgment of Christ, who will come to judge the living and the dead, will be based basically on three things. One, thoughts. Two, words. And three, actions. The final judgment shall be based on thoughts, words, and actions. We shall take each of these one by one. So let us take the more obvious one, that is actions. To reflect on this, let the teacher, let the wisdom of the teacher, Kohelet, guide us. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 14, Coincidentally, the last sentence of this book of Ecclesiastes, the teacher said that God is going to bring to judgment all our work with all its hidden values, whether good or bad. God is going to bring to judgment all our works with its hidden qualities, whether good or bad. Then to understand this better, we see that this is why the king will say on the last day to certain people, when I was hungry, you gave me food. When I needed care, you cared for me. And then to certain others, he will say, when I needed your care, you failed to care for me. And these two group of persons will be taken aback and will say, when did we see you hungry? When did we see you in need and we cared for you or we failed to care for you? And then the response shall be, whatever you do now, here and now, does not just end here and now. It has an everlasting value. Whatever you do does not end in the here and now. It has an everlasting value. And it's that everlasting value that will be judged on the last day, when Christ comes again to judge the living and the dead. So whatever we are doing now, our actions, whatever we fail to do now, our inactions, do not just begin and end here and now. They have everlasting value. Therefore, dear friends in Christ, therefore, friends of St. Jotadeus, therefore, beloved followers of I Believe series, let us be mindful of the fact that every one of our actions has an eternal, has an everlasting value. Then, we shall always strive to act. We shall always strive to act everywhere and always positively. Let us try always and everywhere to do good. Let our actions always and everywhere be good actions because on the last day, the hidden qualities of our works shall be judged, whether good or bad. As good friends of Jesus and good friends of St. Jotadeus, let our actions be always good. Next episode, we shall then take the two other, that is, thoughts and words. For now, let us continue to ask St. Jotadeus to intercede for us, that God may help us, that in all our actions, always and everywhere, we will always demonstrate that we are friends of Jesus. We are beloved friends, we are beloved brothers and sisters of Jesus. And may God help us both now and always through the same Christ our Lord.